Hey, Senator James Lankford here. It's Friday morning. was out until very late last night on the border. Uh, this is the Donna facility. I met this morning at an early morning breakfast with Border Patrol, then came to the Donna facility where unaccompanied minors and where families are being held here. I understand why the Biden team does not want cameras to be allowed in this location. Some of the pods, and there's multiple pods here, the pods where people are being kept are designed for 80 people. One of the pods I went into had 709 kids in it, 709. They were literally piled in, had no room. They were, they were taking turns laying down on the floor uh, because there's no space for them to be able to be there. None of this was true three months ago. Literally, when President Biden came in and announced that he was changing the policy, uh, they showed us the stats and showed how it skyrocketed in February and March. Uh, than for these individuals to be able to come in and has created this huge crisis. Uh, we have a large percentage of folks here that are COVID positive, uh, but they're not tested here for several days. And uh, so they're literally spreading it all around and then they're released out into HHS custody and into the rest of the country. Uh, they've also had starting last weekend numbers so high, they literally couldn't process that many that were coming in. Uh, so they just started releasing people just straight out into the country uh, that were any families, any individuals that are here without processing basically at all other than getting their name, basic information. There's a reason that President Biden is not wanting the information about this facility and other facilities to be able to get out. Uh, there's also a major reason that smugglers are actually pushing families through right now into this area because 41 percent of the drugs that come in the United States between the ports of entry are coming through in this area right here. So literally they're sending families one way in large groups and then pushing drugs another way into the country. Uh, this is a massive crisis that's gonna be rolling for a very long time in the United States with the amount of drugs that are gonna flow through freely and the amount of criminals that are able to move around while the Border Patrol are distracted these large groups of families and while half of the Border Patrol for the entire border for this region are all here at this facility processing individuals rather than taking care of security at the border. This is a rolling, growing, accelerating crisis.